So here's the label. This is for oat milk, unsweetened oat milk. Okay, so when you're looking on the label and you're looking at the ingredients list, right, we're looking to see if sugars are listed on the list. But also we are looking here at the carbohydrates and sugars there, okay? So um, when you're looking at this portion right here of the label, if you see 20 grams of sugar in that item, you can divide that by four and learn the number of teaspoons that are of sugar that are in that serving of that item. So let's say I had 20 grams um, of sugar per serving divided by four. That tells me that there's five teaspoons of sugar in that serving. That's a lot because remember when you, if you read your detox manual, we should be eating less than six grams or six teaspoons of sugar a day. Okay. So if you had an item, let's take yogurts. Yogurts have a lot of sugar in them. Um, Carol even listed that she had had a yogurt that she thought was sugar-free. It was plain yogurt and it ended up having sugar in it. That's one thing I want to address. Make sure though, when you're looking at those labels, okay, uh, some of you guys are eliminating all sugars. Some of you are eliminating just um, added sugars. So when you're looking at the labels, this is a good example is this one says that it has two grams of total sugars. But when I go and I look at the ingredients list, I've got, I can barely see. I have oatmeal, I have sunflower oil, I have minerals, I have calcium carbonate, there's, and sea salt. There's no added sugars. There's not sugar in the ingredient list of this, or there's not like um, honey or molasses or any like brown rice syrup or any of those sugars listed. Um, the sugars are likely coming from the, it's, from the carbohydrates, probably from the oat. Okay. So keep in mind, like, for example, my son was asking me the other day about milk, um, using low fat milk or full fat milk. And he was talking about the sugar content. He was saying that there's less sugar in the full fat milk. I think that's what he was saying. Um, and one of that, and what I was trying to explain to him is there's lactose is a dairy sugar. So you are gonna see a little bit of sugars on the label on certain foods. You're gonna find things like dairy. Um, carbohydrates often can be listed as sugars as far as like the total sugars. Um, so you're gonna find things like lactose is a dairy sugar. Uh, I'm trying to think, I'm just, I'm drawing a blank on the other one. Oh, fructose. Now, fructose is a fruit sugar, but you do want to be careful. We don't want large amounts of fructose. So if you're eating an item that has, you know, um, uh, let's say it's got like citrus in it or something, you're gonna see, let's say it's a salad dressing that has citrus in it. Um, or orange juice or whatever, you're going to see some sugar show up on the label because of the orange juice. So if you're somebody that is eliminating added sugars, but not necessarily natural sugars, you want to make sure that if you see it in this part of the label, double check and check the ingredients list and find out where this sugar is coming from. Because for example, in the low fat milk, they have an added sugar or the full fat milk, they have not added sugar to it. It's just a naturally occurring sugar in a dairy product.